okay welcome uh, welcome to another video in this video we are going to talk about creating arbitrary sockets and in addition to that we're going to see that how we can send files over a network okay so you can have a receiving machine and you can have a sending machine and basically you can send files from one network to another so uh, we would do that on the same machine but Let's try to do that in different folders and let's see if those files go from there to there. So um, one is going to be a client and one is going to be server. So let's open up two terminals. Okay. So uh, this is one terminal and this is the second terminal. All right. So let me just make it like a little bit smaller. Let me just put the webcam right here. So, okay. So this is uh, let's call it uh, client uh, on the left side and let's call this one server okay so uh, in order to uh, first of all you have to make it a client okay so in order to make it a client you're going to write here a one command and in order to make uh, this one server you have to write here a separate command okay so first of all basically you have to create an arbitrary socket so for example um in order to create an arbitrary socket what we would do would write here nc and then we write here negative l um and then we write here um the port number so for example let's say i want to create an arbitrary port um one two three okay so if i hit enter uh, it says permission denied so permission was denied because i haven't used sudo so i'd write here sudo and see negative l123 so it is asking me for the password and if i give the password you can see that now basically uh, the cursor has appeared so it means that uh, it has become a client now so basically it is it has given a socket it is connected to the socket the arbitrary so arbitrary socket that we have created 123 so now to this socket we want to uh, connect our server so in order to connect our servers we have we, we have to know our host name and i think my host name is server.example.com um you can uh, check your host name like this and then what you've got to do you've got to write here a simple command sudo nc host name which is essentially server.example.com and then you've got to write here the socket name which is essentially one two three okay so this this is the arbitrary socket that we have created so now you can see that we are connected the client is uh, client and server they both are connected through the socket which is one two three okay so you can create any socket like you can create one two three four one two three five like whatever you want okay so you can and then you can connect to that arbitrary socket like this okay so now we are connected so if I would write here, let's say linuxin.com, you can see that it is appearing right now, right here, because both of them are connected. Okay, so you can also see that basically we are able to chat. So for example, if I if from server, I will write here, hi, what's up? So you can see that it is appearing right here. Okay, so this is basically a, a simple, um, uh, you know, program or simple, you know, procedure using which we have basically connected our um, uh, we have created an arbitrary socket and we have connected our server and client uh, through that socket okay so now what if we want to send uh, files so the reason the, the idea is that you cannot just only communicate through the sockets but you can also send the files over the network okay uh, so now we are gonna see that how we can send the files so we'll control c so let's see uh basically this this is the same system so right now uh, our present directory if we, if we do pwd you can see that this is home and this is home as well okay so uh, let's change one of the directories so let's say uh we want to send um from server we want to send the file to the client so if i ls here you can see there are several files so uh, if i ls here you can see the both have the same files so what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna change the directory of the client and we have come to the desktop so if i clear it now if i pwd you can see that we are on the desktop 
And if I ls here, you can see that there is only one file on the desktop, which is essentially first script dot sh okay so now you can see we have here a lot of files okay so let's say that i want to send this file to uh, to our client from the server so uh, our client has only one file first script dot sh and uh, our server has multiple files so let's go ahead and let's try to send this file from there so let me clear it so before sending the file what you, what we have got to do is that we have to basically uh, specify the receiver and the sender okay so first of all um, we are going to specify uh, on the client side that which file is that 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 we expect to receive okay so we are going to write here a simple command we are going to write here nc neg negative l uh, I think we have done sudo once, so I think there is no need now. Okay, so I'd write here nc negative l, then we'd write here the port name uh, 123, and then we'd write here this sign uh, greater than like the opening side of the uh, angle bracket would be towards the command, and then we'd write here the file name which we expect to receive, which is essentially let's say file to dot text okay so right now you can see that on the desktop we just have one file which is first script dot sh and we don't have file to dot text on 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 desktop okay so now what we are gonna do is that we're gonna write here a single command uh, but before that i think here we need to hit enter so it says permission denied so i think we need to use sudo and see negative l one two three and uh, then the file two dot text. So if I hit enter, you can see that we expect to receive file two. Okay, so this is this machine right now is a receiver. So from here we are gonna send the file. So for that, excuse me, for that we would write a command. Okay, so okay. So for that we write here a command and uh, we're gonna write here sudo. Let's use sudo for that as well. So uh, then we write here nc and then we write here the server, the host name which is server.example.com in our case. We write the socket name which is essentially 123, the arbitrary socket that we have created. You can create 1234, 1345 whatever socket you want okay so right now uh, here we have one two three socket so we want to connect to it so one two three and then you'd write here the angle bracket like this okay the opening side of the bracket will be towards the file so we'd write here file two dot text so file two dot text is something which actually is there okay in the directory in the present directory of this machine so we hit enter and uh, now um, you can see that we have basically sent a file so right now here we have file to dot text so if i break the link if i ls here you can see that file to dot text has appeared here so it has come from where from here okay so if i ls right here you can see that we have file to dot text uh, which has been shifted which which has been sent excuse me to uh, this machine okay so if you want to make this one uh, you know if you want to send the file from here to here then obviously you have to just switch the commands that we have written okay so i hope you have got the point i hope you have enjoyed this video in this video we have created arbitrary we have learned how to create arbitrary sockets as well as we have learned how to connect them um, over the network and we have also learned how to send the files over the network okay so that's it for written articles you can visit our website linuxin.com and uh, if you want to learn more like this uh, the more tutorials of linux then please subscribe to our channel linuxhint.com and uh, i will see you in the next video